Indonesia continues its leadership of the G20 Forum this year. On June the 6th to the 7th, Indonesia led the second health working group meeting in Lombok, West Nusa Tenggara. The meeting discussed plans for future pandemic prevention. Leaders from the G20 health sector plan to establish a global pandemic preparedness fund under the World Bank. This is to ensure that an effective global health system is capable of responding to threats of health disasters in the future. Indonesian Minister of Health Budi Gunada Sadikin affirmed that a joint commitment to formally establish the Global Pandemic Preparedness Fund is in the works. However, discussions surrounding the authority of use and distribution of funds are still being assessed. According to Sadikin, Indonesia has recommended the use and distribution of funds through the World Health Organization or the WHO, as they are well equipped to tackle global health issues and are able to determine which countries require priority funding in a case of a health disaster. World institutions such as the Global Fund, UNICEF and Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, have shown to be successful in the past in distributing COVID supplies and vaccines. Kita harus menemukan cara bagaimana uang ini bisa dipakai untuk mengakses istilahnya emergency health conservation alat-alat uh, kesehatan atau objek-objek kesehatan yang memang dibutuhkan pada saat pandemi. Itu dibagi tiga kelompok: ke vaksin, obat-obatan, sama diagnostik tool, alat tes. Dan ketiga apa, komponen kesehatan ini bisa diakses oleh seluruh dunia, terutama negara-negara yang uh, berkembang. Gitu ya. Yang ketiga, dari produsnya, kita memastikan ada agreement agar semua lab-lab di dunia bisa sharing data patogen, bisa sharing data virus, bakteri, atau parasit nanti Based on the data by the Indonesian Minister of Health, the Global Pandemic Preparedness Fund has collected up to 1 million U.S. dollars, with Indonesia contributing 50,000 U.S. dollars. The Global Pandemic Preparedness Fund aims to gather 15 to 20 million U.S. dollars and is planned to not only be used for dealing with future pandemics, but also for prevention logistics. This includes vaccine distribution, strengthening lab networks, and expanding the number of workers and human capital in the vaccine industry.